Yo, it's good, it's dirt nap. Sculpted this uh, storm shadow head. Still got sand some parts down. Well, technically, I already sculpted it and it dried, but there's. I had to re sculpt the very tip of the head because uh, I drilled the, the hole bigger for my uh, peg joint and uh, I went a little too far, so I had to, I had to re drill it. Uh, this uh, Lady Deadpool I'm working on, I uh, had to re sculpt the front and underneath of the, uh, the boots. So after they dry and shit, I'll sand them down. Same thing with the back of the wasp. And uh, I got my orange paint in for my bulldozer, so I figured I'd finish sculpting him up. So, that's all I gotta do is sculpt his head. Now I'm about to go uh, start repainting this uh, Storm Shadow. Alright, time to start a wrecker. Almost done bulldozer, so I'll open up one of these uh, Thunderballs. And uh, I want to see if that pipe will fit in this guy's hand. It'll need a little sculpting, but that's what I bought this for. Like, a year ago I bought it because I wanted that pipe. Alright, I think it will work. I'll shave it down and uh, re sculpt the tip. It might be a little long. I'll cut, uh, I don't know, it looks like it's about four inches long, so I'll cut about an inch and a half off. Maybe just like an inch. I think it'll look alright. And I closed his fist a little bit, but just enough to hold it better. Just a little bit more closed than uh, than he can. As you can see, his fingers are touching. Alright, so uh, I had this Deadpool that uh, I think it was a Chinese knockoff or whatever. I didn't really like it. It wasn't painted too, too, too well. So I used the head for that. Uh, that X-Force Deadpool and then uh, I seen it laying around I was like ah, might as well start I took the belt off I put it on the, the Lady Deadpool that I'm going to be working on here and I showed you guys the boots that I uh, re-sculpted because I took off the X-23 blades so uh, they're painted up they're going to just look just going to look straight and uh, I took the, the gun uh, hold her off the side. I think I'm gonna put it on uh, her thigh. I think it'll look alright. Uh, I modded the hands a little bit so that she could hold her gun. And cut into them. It'll work. And uh, for the storm shot, I painted all the white. It's crispy as fuck. I didn't think I'd ever be able to paint white this good, but this paint is nasty. Citadel, you're the shit. So I uh, finished sculpting the head. And, uh, yeah, it'll look nice when it's all painted up. I didn't paint it. And I'm gonna paint the skin tone to match. I mean, it's kind of similar, but whatever. But uh, the way the head is, he's gonna be able to look up however far you want him to look up and look down. Well, hold up. It's about as far as he can look down, which is basically looking at his feet when he's standing up. So, it's pretty nice. Alright, and uh, I should be done this guy about Saturday. I got an early start at work today, so. Yep. Oh yeah, and I uh, sanded this guy's joints down to well, most of them still gotta do that on. So I don't have a real nice Dremel. I just have this little, uh, this little one. It, like takes forever, but uh, as soon as I finish all these after San Diego Comic Con exclusives, I gotta buy and shit. I um, I'll invest in a uh, probably the stylus. Alright, uh, this is what we have so far. Did the shading on the face. Put his arms on. Nice little skin, huh? 
Same thing with the other side. Touched up everything, repainted white. Paint is black, uh, primed it black with this uh, Imperial primer. And uh, uh, it all comes out pretty good. The bow fits in his hand. I probably have the bow on back, but I don't know. Who knows? So now I just gotta make the thing for his back and uh, mod a little light stand for that part of his back. And then he's basically done. I'm gonna make a little uh, arrow quiver for him. It'll stick in his back and a chest strap that's a, that'll be removable. And then uh, I was testing out this, uh, what's it, Mephist in red, this uh, Citadel base. I'm seeing how good it covers every black and uh, covered real good. That's just like a, a coat or two. The top is a little coat and then a little watered down coat because the shit is thick. Yeah, pretty much looking pretty good. So, uh, I'll probably finish her by Wednesday. And then I uh, I painted uh, those Johnny's black so that I can start dry brushing. Now, I'm going to have to, because the color I got for him is this uh, Troll Slayer Orange from Citadel. It's a layer. It's not a base like this uh, Mephist in red and this uh, ceramic white. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to either, I don't know what I'm gonna use. I don't wanna use all white on this guy and then paint orange, it'll be super bright. So I might use, uh, I don't know, maybe I got some paint coming in. So I'll decide then. I think I ordered a couple more bases, I'm not sure. I gotta be look. I know I got a dark skin tone for my uh, Afro Samurai and this Luke Cage that I got planned out. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet on one of these and uh, most likely, maybe I'll try the rat skin flesh. Maybe I'll try the rat skin flesh with the orange over it. I think it'll work. I don't know. Um, I've been waiting like all week for all these packages. I still got to ship out the uh, Deadpool and uh, Exorcist Wolverine. The uh, Deadpool went for about 110 on eBay, and uh, the Wolverine went for about 60. I mean, I just wanted to sell that Wolverine before the box set comes out. I had to hurry up and get it done. Uh, hopefully, I get all this shizna done. Well, when we had the little power outage and shit, um, I had my uh, godson over. He always likes opening up some action figures, so I always have like 20 or 40 that I don't mind opening. So I just let him open up these Gears of War figures. Gave him strict details not to bend their arms too much because I seen Boog and he popped an arm off on accident. So, you know, that ended up happening. I popped the arm back on. It was no big deal, but. These figures are pretty dope. You get a lot of bang for your buck with these figures because of how heavy they are and uh, how much plastic they use. I mean, the head sculpts are just amazing. They got a little bit of motion. Paint apps are pretty dope. I mean, this guy, simply dope. I mean, I don't really, I mean, I like the gun, but it's weird. Like you just can't pose that gun the way you want to. It's basically all like forward motions. This dude's pretty dope too. Got a lot of uh, detail in the skin tones and outfits. Gun's pretty dope too. It's all bloody. Guy's pretty cool too. I like his little, I don't know if this guy's like Argentinian or Spanish or it's Italian with a slick back hair. I don't know. I don't play the game, but this dude's pretty dope too. Comes with a little salt off. And uh, what's pretty cool, I noticed with uh, this guy, you take his gun off and you can put it on his back, just like a little peg hole, which I thought was pretty cool. 
Little peg hole for his gun. I mean, it hangs out a little bit, but. And, uh. I realized that this guy has it too, but. He doesn't come with the gun, so you can swap the guns, I guess. And, uh, same thing with this guy. Sorry if I don't know their names. I know, uh, one's Augustus Cole, I think, uh. Some other dude's Phoenix. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a big Gears fan. But uh, also with this guy, these tools come out. I haven't took that big one out because I don't want to get the rubber uh, uh, all messed up. But you can take these screwdrivers out and this little wrench. But I'm not going to do it. Pretty dope. Alright. Just gave uh, this Nightcrawler a little base coat. Fixed a lot of the spots that I messed up. And, uh, I have no power. We got a real bad storm in, uh, South Jersey. And, uh, I work in Philadelphia, so when I was driving home at four in the morning, there was all these trees down and shit. You know, it just looked like a tornado hit. And basically, we have no electric in our whole city, which sucks. But yeah, I don't have anything else to do except for paint. Package! Alright, well I opened it up already. Saved you there. Alright, so here we got Star Wars Unleashed Anakin Skywalker. And his, uh, fuck the Jedi, I'm turning Sith look. And I gotta say, it's pretty badass. When I get more lighting, I will be opening up and putting him in the scene fighting Obi-Wan Kenobi. The only thing is, I don't remember if I have a... Uh... Alright, shut up dog. I can't remember if I uh, still have Obi-Wan's lightsaber. I think I put it up there, but... Uh, if not, I don't know. Is there Obi-Wan? General Grievous is pretty nice too, but uh, yeah, comes with some nice little fire base. It's uh, two pieces, so you know what I mean, you can use it for ACBA. Package. Alright, here's what I got. Um, after I sold, uh, after I seen somebody was bidding on the Deadpool and my Wolverine, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just pull the trigger and order these guys. I got these three for $55. Now, I checked everywhere in New Jersey at the Walmarts. They didn't have any of these Avengers figures, so. So, you know what? I've seen the Logie gone for a reasonable price for a little bit. So, I figured I'd just buy it for 55 Now, I got a second Loki. I'll open this one. Because the package is just a little bit more dinged up than my original one. And I wanted to open them anyway, so. And, uh. So I got the Loki, looks pretty dope, and uh, I did have the other Thor at my shop, I was making payments on a whole shitload of figures, but uh, then I'm just trying to keep this one until the other, uh, get the other Thor and tell him that I don't need it, because this is the, I like this Thor, I don't know, maybe I'll get the other Thor loose one day off eBay, whatever. Looks pretty dope though. Got some other ones coming in the mail. You'll see. Alright. As you can see, the Nightcrawler is finished. Just gotta touch up a little piece of his tail. Put his arms back on. And he is complete. He'll be on eBay in a few days. Uh, started working on this X23 finally. Sorry about the shitty light. Gave her belly a little shading. Forgot to add a little belly button. Painted a gloss black. Took this Sharon Carter head that I painted. Black hair. Painted a little mask. Made her eyes red. Still gotta uh, take a little bit of her eyes off. And then we have the X23. Took her arms, we painted those also. So, 
Got like no light here. A little bit of shading. And you know, with these arms, they're just basically like just a like flat surface. That little crevice is the only part that I could add any shading in. Uh, checking out the Lady Deadpool. I really don't want to pull these hands off of uh, the domino that I got, but I might pull them off Mystique. She's more replaceable. And then I uh, started working on a couple things. This one's going to be Mary Jane. Just washed her all up. Cleaned her. Pretty sure. Yeah. A little Sydney Savage head. Good Mary Jane head. Just got to repaint it. And then I really wanted to make a... a a Gwen Stacy, but you can't do it with these legs because she has the boot cuffs. So I replaced them with the Emma Frost uh, uh, legs. Dude, it was a bitch to get these shits on. Ended up drilling too far, drilling a hole through her crotch, but that's okay. Because uh, I'll just fill it in with a little sculpt and pants go right over it anyway. I mean, her skirt's gonna go right over it anyway. Gotta repaint that, cut it to the right length. I found this nice ass head in the fodder. I gotta contact a dude named uh, Star Wars that I made the X23 for. He gave me a bunch of fodder. I really wanna know where this head came from. This dude that is a perfect Gwen Stacy head. I mean, maybe not exactly like movie version, but this is a good ass head. Um, she's gonna have the removal, removable arms. And then, if you want to put the regular arms, you can. And then she'll have the the jacket that's going to be the brown color, like normal. And then the brown jacket arms after I paint them. And it's going to be the same thing with Mary Jane. I'll give her uh, a different color coat. Wait, I don't know. Whatever colors her coats are going to be, they'll be. I'm not sure. One coat's one color, and one coat's another color for Mary Jane and, uh, and Gwen. And, uh... Pretty much that's it. Uh, yep. Package. Alright. <coughs> Just what I got. I got a bunch of Citadel colors. I got a base and a regular layer. To paint yellows. Uh, a couple of browns for dark skin tones. The gray. A light blue. We're actually pretty dark. And I got a purple. And uh, two greens, a dark green and a base. Shut up! And I got the Arkham variant for a custom. Pretty dope. Dude, this thing is my best friend. I love my Keurig. Three, two, one. Oh, we have coffee! Alright, give you a little update. Yesterday I didn't have a lot of time, but I did get the. I painted a. Oh, uh, what the fuck's her name? Um, that uh, that chick from the new Spider-Man movie, Gwen Stacy. I painted Gwen Stacy's legs a nice little bronze color. I repainted the head. Stupid fucking heads, dude. I hate repainting these. If you don't paint them right, they look like shit. I mean, it still ain't perfect, but it's nice. Still don't know where this head from. It has to be from like a maybe like a Buffy playset or buffy figure or maybe a I don't even know maybe masters of the universe like the older ones I have no idea somebody out there you shall know and you will tell me or I'll torture you okay and then we got the x23 so far I used to I think these are just like a little bit big maybe but when I paint them all black and Finish it up. Uh, added the belt. This was a, a 
and uh, X Zorn X logo. I just cut it right off his shit. Yeah, pretty much. I think it looks pretty good so far. I, just, uh, I might finish painting her today. Maybe. I'm reading the um, the bio of uh, Jessica Drew, Spider Woman, and it says uh, that after 17 months of procedures, she emerged more powerful than ever, now capable of fully flying rather than just gliding on air currents. Hmm. That's something new. Alright, got a long awaited package. Well, not really. He shipped it fast, but uh, here he is. Finally got the Hawk. Like I said, they didn't get us get these in my area. And a uh, dude listed it as a, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Hasbro movie Avengers Hawk. And he, he just fucked up the listing. So whatever it was. Hold on, let me look. The Avengers movie. The Avengers movie studio hawk. As you can see, I paid twenty dollars, twenty dollars and fifty cents, and it was ten twenty to ship. So this guy took like a six dollar loss on uh, putting this figure up and listing it wrong. I'm just mad happy. So now I got Thor, Loki, Hawk. I just need that bum ass cap and uh, the Hawkeye. Because the Iron Man, psh, man, I'll battle damage, man. Goddamn that uh, Iron Man. Alright, alright, we are officially done with these two X Force characters. Alright, we got X23. I like the little shading on her belly there. It's all glossed out and had leather. Looks pretty dope. And then we have Sir Nightcrawler. His AOA gear. Oh, it's kind of hard to focus. It looks pretty dope. See, a lot of people when they make the custom uh, X Force, they uh, they do it to whatever picture that they're looking at. Like I seen a lot of uh, pictures that had the gray X. But um, when I was looking at when uh, some of the recent issues, maybe in the past couple months, he had a red emblem on his chest. So I mean, all of them on figure realm, the custom where you put your customs at, they. Uh, they have the gray, so I went with the red because that's what what was there when uh, when I seen it. I really see. I really like the, these feet and hands that the X Men Classics Nightcrawler had because they actually have toenails, and on the hands they actually have fingernails. On the regular uh, Marvel Legends one, it doesn't have that. So I repainted. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Repainted all the skin tones. I made my own skin tone. What I thought looked good. It was just a, a, a royal blue mixed with a little bit of gray. Give his hair a little blue. Dry brush. There you go. I mean, you can still see a little bit of a. When I had that super glue accident. Oh no! Still looks pretty dope. I mean, I like this one. Reminds me of uh, what was it Gleb, uh, Glenn the Webman 69s. This was similar, but he just used a straight uh, X-Men Classics. This is a mod between Upper Torso, um, Upper Torso Marvel Legends Nightcrawler with a uh, mid arm. X-Men Classics and uh, I modded, uh, modded it at the waist joint and I had to sand it down to match the Marvel Legends one. I'm rambling. Hope you like. I'm about to put it on eBay.